親父が考古学者なのは知ってるなああ有名な学者だからなマヤ遺跡を調査していた時のことだそうだ近くのジャングルで茂みに隠れていて分からなかった穴に滑り落ちた地面にぽっかり開いた小さな穴だが中は意外に深かったそうだ親父は急な斜面をどこまでも滑り落ちていったそして穴の底で奇妙なものを発見した嫌だな暗いなあで電気は電気をつけなくても見える見ろうわー When Wimpy Akira Fudo is reunited with his old friend, the mysterious Ryo Asuka, he is taken to Ryo's family mansion and told that there is a great evil declaring war on the human race. The world of demons is planning to take back the world from the current residents, and Ryo wants Akira to stop them. He explains that the best way to defeat these demons is to become a demon oneself. So Akira is left with the choice to leave his human life behind and become the dark hero, Devil Man. When you consider the kind of anime coming out in the 1980s, especially in the OVA market, it makes sense that this would be the era of anime where we would see the first manga accurate adaptation of Devil Man 15 years after the series conception. This version of Devil Man keeps most of the Gonagai story intact while adding a lot of extra content to the overall origin of the classic manga superhero. Initially, the smart thing the OVA does is focus on the relationship between Akira and Ryo, which gives a lot of weight to the idea of Akira following along with what his friend wants him to do. What helps some of the minor cracks in the foundation is the OVA's sense of style. The designs, the direction, and the animation all give the audience something memorable, for a better or worse. The monster designs are all pretty creative, which is what the viewer would want from a Devil Man anime, and it has no intention of watering itself down for the mass market. There's even some decent character moments between Akira and Miki, especially in the infirmary, which add to the human side to the whole story. The main issue overall is that the story decided to let an hour-long OVA tell the story that's told within one volume of the original manga, which is near unheard of these days. The fact that it ends at the battle during the Black Sabbath makes this decision even stranger considering the next entry would not come out until three years later. It also creates a problem of having no clear ending to the animation, with only one episode to tell the story of Devilman. It leaves the audience to decide if waiting to have the titular character appear until the end of it was either a brave move from a new director being experimental, or just a poor decision from an inexperienced one. For the pros, Akira's character development is actually fairly interesting. The OVA chooses to focus on him growing more courageous even before transformation, something neither the manga nor even Crybaby did. It gives his decision to become Devilman more weight and shows what kind of person he was before he transformed. There's a good, straightforward sense of style for the character designs. The designs manage to stay faithful to the originals while rebranding them for an 80s audience. For the cons, it seems to suffer from a lot of tonal issues. At one moment the story has beautiful, serene animation, and in the next gritty, deliberately ugly, and honestly schlocky animation is shown. And the English dub is infamously awful, with weird and awkward lines and deliveries, though this is easily a separated flaw from the actual production. Some may enjoy the dub for the camp value, but if you're looking for something more serious, you won't get it from the English dub. Recommended watch? There's a lot of reasons to watch the original Devilman OVA. However, if your reason is to watch the titular character make ways to some demons with OVA-level animation quality, you won't get it. It's hard to sell something Devilman that barely has him in it. The story is strictly Akira's, and if that's all it was meant to be, it wouldn't be half bad. Another thing to consider is the viewer's tolerance for gore in animation. It's rare to find an anime fan who doesn't have a stomach for it, but if you are a little uneasy about it, keep in mind this is an adaptation of Devilman from the 1980s. Devilman The Birth is not currently licensed, but you can find movies and series like it, such as the 1970s Devilman, or Wicked City, 
at rightstuff.com, discotechmedia.com, funimation.com, and sentaifilmworks.com. Stay classic.